Well, good morning. Today we have our special activity. It's the closing of the summer pre-basic courses. And for this activity, we decided to do an academic closing with the author, Dr. Lira Munoz. We're very happy that this semester, this summer, we had a very, very special group, Dr. Peñarvel and I. We enjoy very much sharing with the students, and we enjoy your creativity and the way you use Dr. Munoz's story of I people. So to begin, uh, we have Dr. Munoz, who will be our guest speaker. We have Dr. Peñarvel, who is also one of the professors that is teaching the summer free basic courses. Dr. Nisa Lugo, our English chair, is on her, on her way. She's very happy with this activity. And Dr. Giovanna Baragin, she excused herself. She had another activity, but she sent her best wishes. We began this type of activity of meet the author two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Baragin, initiated this activity inviting Dr. Munoz to share another short section titled or equal times. So this is our second time doing this activity and we're very happy. So now Dr. Peñarver will share with you before Dr. Munoz begins his presentation. All of you. Dr. Dr. Aníbal Munoz Claudio is an assistant professor at the University of Puerto Rico, Numacao where he has been working since 2004. He holds a doctorate degree in curriculum and instruction in English from the University of Puerto Rico at Humacao, at Rio Piedras. He holds two master's degree also from Rio Piedras, University of Puerto Rico at Rio Piedras, one in English teaching and curriculum, and another in translation from the College of Humanities. More than any other degree, Dr. Munoz treasures the most his BA in English teaching and curriculum, which prepared him to be the teacher he is today. At present, at the UPR in Macau, he is one of the practice teaching supervisors, elementary and secondary level, a passion he developed during his 14 years as a public school teacher, many of them as a quadrant teacher. In addition, he has worked as the English BA program coordinator, as a, the English BA program coordinator, among other key teaching positions in the English department. As a writer, he has published two novels in English titled The Sweet Puerto Rican Money and The Cleansing of Unwanted Puerto Ricans. He is also the author of one epic novel in Spanish titled Cujón, right? Debe ser Cujón, 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 en español, Cujón, Las Bestias y los Guerreros del Oriente. And the well-known anthology, Forty One Times. This anthology, which anchors his adaptation of Lewandowski's mediation theory, includes 24 short stories and the famous play, Tintillo, The Puerto Rican Summer Tree. He has also published numerous articles and academic publications related to ESL teaching and practices and strategies. His literary works mainly focus on adolescence, lives and conflicts at school and in society. Dr. Munoz has been a keynote speaker in several P Puerto Rico TESOL conventions and other forums throughout his 23 years of experience as an ESL professor in Puerto Rico. Dr. Munoz has been a key collaborator in the University of Puerto, uh, Puerto Rico and Rio Piedras proposal titled Professional Training for Teachers of Diverse Learners, in which he has shared innovative teaching strategies and planning procedures with hundreds of English, English teaching colleagues. He was also part of another proposal titled Piensa from the University of Puerto Rico and Rio Piedras, which aimed to help academically those disadvantaged students from various public housing projects, namely Luis Joel Torres, Andalucía, Vitermosa, Nemesio Canales, Emanuela Perez, among others. 
Lastly, he is the founder and president of the Puerto Rican English Writers Association, PREWA, established in November 2010. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Carmen, and uh, thank you, Professor Artemio, and thank you, students, for inviting me. I'm very happy to be here. Uh, today, I brought a very special uh, companion, and that is my wife back there. Uh, there you go, yeah, hey, make sure. I gotta set up the record straight. Uh, I have to set the record straight. Uh, it's a great pleasure and honor to be here on uh, Macau, my second home. My hometown is Jabucoa. Those Jabucoas in the house, anybody here? No? There we go, there we go. That's my hometown, uh, but on, not unfortunately, I guess fortunately, I was brought to the San Juan area by my wife. She's from Guaynabo, so I live in Rio Piedras now. But I do travel here. This is where I work. This is my place here. And it's a very nice uh, feeling to be back here at the university. I'll be seeing you in August. Well, today, shortly, I will be presenting something very short to you because of what I would like is to receive your feedback. I noticed most of you, that you guys like the uh, flash mob. I'm very sure you were doing the Harlem Shakers back at high school, right? You were going, uh, doing all the moves, right? But beyond the Harlem Shakers, now we have the flash mobs and, and all the other stories. So I would like to listen more to you of what you have to say better than what I have to uh, say here. So we're going to talk about I People. One of the uh, latest books that I have written, uh, very soon to be published, hopefully in August or September. And I people, I have a lot of purposes in writing it. And uh, for me, it's very special because on the, uh, in the 21st century that we're living, I believe that we Puerto Ricans, like many, like all other countries in the world, we're coming to a very special juncture. And the juncture is the mixture that we have with the old traditions, the old world, and the new world, the era of communication and technology that we're facing. So I think that I people, this is what I'm looking at, that we have this critical mindset about what's going on with ourselves. And I people, I, today I will be providing these three words for you. This is what I want you, when you get out of here today, when you come back here in August, and for the rest of your lives, I want you to think, hopefully internalize, these three concepts there that are very critical. One, identity, where we'll be explaining what is identity. Second, mentality, a mentality that you should have. And last, and third place, awareness. So I will be explaining all of that for us to think and look at this book, I People, what is presenting us. All right, let's begin with identity. The identity, first question, uh, we're gonna be asking ourselves some questions. And one of the questions is, where do we come from? Who were our ancestors? What is our past? And I don't know how many of you, you have your grandparents, if they're living now, you remember the old scenes way back from the 50s and the 60s. Most of, even my parents, they were farmers. This is how Puerto Rico used to look like 60 years ago in the agriculture. We'll still have a lot of that right in the middle of the uh, central region of Puerto Rico, but these are the people that work. These are the people that develop all their lives in bringing us up right here. So when we talked about identity, and this is the one thing I like to explain, because just like you, I have a, a son and a daughter. My son is in the second year now of the university, so he's very much your age. I have a daughter in high school. So we have to think, when we think about our identity, it's not that we are Hibaros anymore. We are not Hibaros anymore. That was a term that it used to call our ancestors. But it's in our identity that you and I, we need to respect that. We need to respect our Hibaros. We need to love. We have to have admiration for who they are and the things that they did to us so that you can be sitting on that chair today ready to study. So yet you can be on that chair today ready to text, ready to chat, because these people in their horses, in the farms, they dedicated their lives, they bent their backs over so that we could be here today. So that identity of who we are, our traditions, our customs, our culture, our celebrations, Everything that we do from quinceañeras to the sunset festivals, going to the beach and having some arroz con gandules there, eating bacalaitos around, all of that, all of that is our identity. 
And moreover, when we talked about our identity, uh, this is who we are, where we come from, what were our roots, how the Puerto Ricans, the Criollos, the Creoles were formed. This is what goes with us because when you, when you become a professional, whether in the States, all over Europe, wherever you decide to go, or armed forces, wherever life and destiny takes you, that identity, this is what I'm saying, that identity will always be stored in your hearts and the souls. So when we talked about identity, about who we are, that goes in the heart. So no matter if you're a professional lawyer, engineer, doctor, or whoever you are in life, or wherever you are, if you're in China, Japan, Korea, wherever you are in the world, that identity will go with you. That respect, that love, that admiration, that passion for who your ancestors. And this is what we're bringing. Because sometimes, and I'm referring here very personal, my son, sometimes we tend to forget we say, well, we're so modern. Nosotros somos tan modernos. Like, ah, soy jíbaro, soy otra cosa. Well, it's not that we're going to forget that or diminish them. It's that we should carry that heritage, that lineage. We should carry that within our hearts. And then we form our identity, our modern uh, identity. But that goes with us. Now, let's take a look at the second one. The second question that we have to ask ourselves it's about our mentality. And for mentality, we're gonna think about who are we today? That's the question that we have to ask to define us. And this is where I people come into place. Comes into place because right now, this mentality that we need, it's a mentality for us to jump into the modern life and compete so we cannot fall behind. Watching the news, right, when you guys are chatting or texting or opening your phones, we'll listen to news in Japan, uh, all over Europe, in the States, in Brazil. Then you guys look at the FIFA World Cup, LeBron James, and it's a, an incredible world out there. But we Puerto Ricans, we're not Hibaros anymore. We have to be right there too, just with the Chinese and the whoever is up front, the French, the British, we Puerto Ricans, we're not going to fall behind. We're going to be right there too. Just like Monica Puig is, is now uh, winning in tennis, we want to be in the upfront of technology, in the upfront of communications. Those ideas, I like that phone that I saw in the video there with the lipstick and everything. I mean, those are the ideas. So when you guys are studying, when you, we are creating, this is who we are nowadays. We are the I people. Just like the I people in the world, this is the mentality that we have to adopt. And within this mentality, this is what we're talking about. The world of computers, the world of uh, iPods and iPads, the world of chatting, the world of texting, of interacting, of live streaming, of videotaping, of Harlem Shakers, right? If, if somebody's inventing the Harlem Shakers and you see that on YouTube, hey, we're Puerto Rico, we're not gonna fall in. We're going to do that too. We're going to step up into the world. So that's the mentality. When we think about mentality, it's about a position that you have to think in your mind. So identity, going back, identity is in your heart of respect and love of who we come from. And now the mentality is, how is it that I am going to be interacting? And in this mentality, yes, right there are celebrations. We have to celebrate. We have to go to places. We have to discover. We have to research. All of that is part of the mentality part. And it's a mentality just like this. This is what we see nowadays. As soon as I finish here, or maybe right now within this presentation, some of you will be texting. I see my wife back there, she's texting already. Some of you will be texting, some of you will be chatting, you'll be conferencing. Even when we're eating, right, you'll be ordering a pizza, you'll be chatting, you'll be discovering. Some of you will be checking on sports, what are the latest uh, data in there, the statistics. You guys are interacting with this mentality. And when we think about mentality, this is the assertion that I'm making here. We need to assume. Assume means that you embrace, that you adopt. A modern mentality, and look at that parenthesis. That parenthesis is very important. Full of commitment. Llena de compromiso. De un compromiso social. 
that you guys are not sitting there just to do nothing because you want to be something in life. You want to have a profession, you want to have a job, so that you can contribute and you can help yourself, your family, your community, Puerto Rico, and even the entire world. To interact, you need this mentality to interact in our modern, challenging society. ¿Ustedes no les parece a veces cuando vemos familiares que, que no interactúan y no, que, no están en el mundo de las computadoras? Y, and, and you go like, wait a second, you don't have a cell phone? You don't know how to chat? You don't know how to send emails? These people are not interacting with the modern society that we're living. These people have not yet had the I people mentality. See, so these two things go combined one hand in hand. Because when you are adopting this mentality, you go home and say, well, I am an I people. I have this, I have iPads, I have iPhones. I'm downloading YouTube, uh, uh, iTunes music. I have all that playlist. All of that without forgetting your identity that you are, that you were born here, who are your ancestors, that you belong to a, a community, that, that you have this identity. The moment that your mentality overshadows your identity, then you're becoming, my friends, I'm very sorry, you're becoming an airhead. You know what an airhead is, right? We have another term, and those of you have read Boricuan Times, I have another term for that, but no voy a usar aquí porque estamos grabando. But there's another term for people that are airheads, people who diminish who they are. So we're saying that you can be very modern, you can be very up-to-date in technology, so if you're stepping in space, well, I am Puerto Rican, I am an I people, I'm very modern, having respect, love, admiration for my ancestors. So this is the second part, identity in the heart, mentality over here in your mind. So let's go to the third question that I mentioned. Where do we go from here? This is where we are, and from here will be from those chairs. Where do you go from those chairs? Where do you go from now in August? Where do you go from Puerto Rico? When you finish your graduation, last week I attended the graduation here. Se graduaron cuanto fue ahí como 700, ¿verdad? Or, 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 uh, it was a, a, a great number of students who graduate. We think four or five years, you guys will be there with your robe and you'll be marching the parade of your graduation, just like you were. Most of you were in seniors. You know how the music sounds. It feels very passionate, the hugs and kisses with your parents. That will happen soon again at this level. Only this time you will go into life to obtain a job and profession for you to help our society. So you have to be thinking where it is that I am going from here. So you need these two things. You need to have an identity well formed and a mentality for you to go here. And where is it that we're going, my friends? We're going to a world that is different. Your world right now was very much different from my world when I graduated from high school back in 1983. And back then in my world, I was very certain, I was very sure that I wanted to be a teacher. And my, my teacher was tell, well, you can study a profession. Now that paradigm is shifting with the large tendencies that are out there. And the tendencies are telling you that today, maybe you can study one profession, but it's not the title of your profession. It's, well, I want to be a nurse. I want to be a therapist. I want to work in communication. That is not anymore what we want. We want that you have a set of skills, that you have many skills, or the all the stresses and competencies, so that you can be a very good nurse an effective nurse and that you can do many other things around so that you can be useful. Right now you cannot depend on companies closing down, losing a job and be without a job. You have to be from this job to this job because you have a set of different skills. So when we're talking about here, we think these skills, the I people mentality is what you have to have. And my friends, I am telling you right now, English as a language is one of those skills for this 21st century that we're living right now. So yes, it's a skill that you must have. 
just like you're very techy with your iPhones and uh, video games and everything and computers, English has to be in you too, so that you can be more productive here in Puerto Rico, in the States, all over the world. So right now, when you come back here in August, uh, you're not a prepa, no lo voy a decir prepa en agosto ustedes, you guys are studying here, you were a prepa in June when you begin. When you're in August here, you're regular students because you have been here in the summer. So that gives you a difference. So when you come here in August, these many things, arts, music, biology, science, Spanish, English, all of those are sets of skills in order for you to be a therapist, in order for you to be a teacher, a communicator, a biologist, a chemist, engineer, whatever you want, with this set of skills. Now, uh, all of this is what we call the awareness. Awareness translates into Spanish como alerta. Tenemos que estar alerta. What is it that we have to be? The world has changed drastically. It's drastically changing in the 21st century. So the I people learners, which are you, you must be aware of these changes in order, look at the purpose, in order to live and in order to survive in this world. You have to put those words into your mind when you gotta hear. To live and to survive. So this awareness, right, comes from you having a very good identity, who you are, that you're certain, a very good mentality, that these skills are not out there, ah, pero ahí está el inglés, está el computadora, pero yo no voy a entrar a eso. You have to have that mentality. That in, in order, if you want to compete for jobs, in order for you to live, to have food, to have your jewelry, to have your cars, to have your apartment, so you can help, you need to have that awareness of these changes. We teachers, we're aware of these changes. Something is changing, the world that we're teaching, we have to adapt to those circumstances in order for us to be uh, effective, in order for us to survive in our jobs and in positions so that you can go home the next day and you can have a very relaxed time, you can watch television and you can say, well, I have lived my life. There are other ways to live. Hay otra forma de vivir. Esa forma de vida la veo todos los días. Hoy cuando salí para acá, en la luz, en las luces que cogí, había como tres pidiéndome chavo, otras personas tiradas en la esquina. Esas otras formas de vida las vemos todos los días en las noticias. Every day, you watch this on the news. They are in jail. They are in the headlines, dead or killed or murdered. They are the bad news, the sad story of Puerto Rico. Those are people who took a decision of not to have the awareness, the mentality, and their identity. And this is what we're talking about. So going back to the book, because this ends the presentation here, in the I people, this is what we're bringing, a set of short stories that are depicting who are the new, the new era, right? Who are the new people? And yes, they're celebrating the flash mobs, and they're, they're doing the embedded, I don't know how many stories they read, like four. I don't know if you guys didn't get to the embelecos or the uh, or the many things that are in there, the goofy games, etc. All of these things are an invitation for us to think about who we are, our identity, the mentality that we have to have, and the awareness of the world around us. Well, with that, uh, this is my presentation, Carmen. I uh, like to thank, and then I'd like to invite the floor for.